For today's video, we're going to be going over multiples, factors, and prime numbers. We're going to be talking about how to determine lowest common multiple, greatest common factor, how to complete a factor tree, and what makes a prime number. So first, let's talk about multiples. Multiples, this sounds like the word multiplication, and this is the easiest way to remember it. Multiple is the product of a number when it's multiplied by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and so on. So if we think about our multiplication tables, let me use 8 as an example. If we simply do our multiplication table, these are all multiples of this original number. So 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 56 are all multiples of 8. This is where a strong handle on multiplication facts is going to be beneficial. So if you're looking for something to practice, practice your multiplication tables. Lowest common multiple, or LCM, which you can write for short form, is when you're comparing two or more numbers and you're finding the lowest multiple that they have in common. So I'm going to use 8 and 4. So 8 is already written out here and the multiples of 4 are written out here. So the first step I would do is I would identify all the common multiples. So 8, 8, 16, 16, 24, 24. 32, 32, and there would be, there, it would go on and on. But I'm looking for the lowest common multiple. So if I look at my two lists, 8 and 8 are the lowest common multiple of both those numbers. So I would write LCM for lowest common multiple is 8. So again, practice your multiplication tables. Know your multiplication tables. Facts. Factors. And now, factors is a combination of whole numbers that equal the same product. So it's two numbers, a combination of two numbers that when multiplied together equal the same number. So for example, if I'm looking for the factors of 24, I'm looking for all of those combinations that when they're multiplied together, their product equals 24. So I can think of 1 times 24, 2 times 12, 3 times 8, 4 times 6. So these are all factors of 24. They should be written out in numerical order. So it should read 24 equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 12, 24. It's just more organized and it's easier to uh, manipulate and use for other questions. Greatest common factor, or GCF for short form. This is when you're going to be, again, comparing two or more numbers and you're trying to find the greatest common factor. So as compared to lowest common multiple, you're looking for the lowest common digit. This, you're looking for the greatest common digit. So I'm looking at, I'll look at 24 and 12. So here are my factors of 12. So 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. I've written them in numeric order. And first I'm going to identify the uh, common factors. So we have 1, we have 2, we have 3, we have 4, we have 6, and we have 12. So if I'm looking for the greatest common factor, the largest factor that these two numbers have in common, it would be 12. So I can write greatest common factor, 12. Okay. There might be times where you're going to be asked to create a factor tree. So again, you're looking for factors. You're given a number, and you're looking for those numbers, um, those combinations that their product equals that number. Now, you know you've completed your factor tree when you get to a prime number. And we'll talk a little bit more about uh, what prime numbers mean on the next slide. So, again, I'm starting with 24. And I can start with 2 times 12. I don't have to start with 2 times 12. I could start with uh, 4 times 6 or um, 3, 3 times 8. Any two factors that their product equals my starting number. Now, 2 is a prime number because it is only divisible by 1 and itself. So I can stop there, and I've identified that with a little line. But 12, there are more factors that make up 12. So I keep going. So 2 times 6 gets me 12. So I put my 2 and my 6 here. 2, again, is a prime number. I can stop there. However, my 6, there are more factors. I can, I, I can divide that down to 2 times 3. Uh, and so these are all prime numbers. So at the end, I could write 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 equals 24. Or you take all of the 2s and you write it as an exponent. 2 to the power of 3 times 3 equals 24. Prime numbers. 
prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one and itself. So for example, three. There are no two other numbers, no two composite numbers that you could multiply together to get three except for one times three. All the other numbers are composite numbers. So a four, number four, uh, it, you can multiply one times four to get four, two times four to get, two times two to get four. So those are consult, called composite numbers. Number one is neither prime nor composite because it doesn't satisfy um, this criteria. Today in class, you were given a hundreds chart. Your assignment for tonight is to go through that hundreds chart and identify all of the prime numbers. So either highlight all the composite numbers and leave the prime numbers blank, uh, or highlight all the prime numbers and leave the composite numbers blank. You must fill in number one with black. So fill it in with some black marker or a really sharp or really uh, heavy pencil. All right?